Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Morning. Uh, long day yesterday. Uh, early morning this morning. Sun's out though, which uh, makes you feel a bit better. Uh, on my way into Bunwell to do uh, a couple of one-to-ones. Got um, an awesome Mali I've not seen for ages. Um, the owner broke a leg. Beautiful, beautiful Mali. <coughs> Very temperamental though. She, uh, she's either in the mood to work or she isn't. She's not your, your normal Mali that's really high drive all the time. Um, she's pretty steady. Although, when, yeah, whenever she sees me, she goes mental. So um, I've not seen her for well, six months nearly now, I would say. Um, so uh, I got a funny feeling I'm going to be on my backside when I get there this morning. Um, then, uh, then I've got a couple of one-to-ones with some dog reactive dogs. So I've got the the dogs in the back of the car, back back of the van. You'll probably hear Ruby barking in a minute because she absolutely hates the van. She loves looking out of the windows in the truck in the in the back cab. Um, so uh, she gets a bit gets a bit upset when I put it in the uh, economy class vehicle. So um, so I've got them. Then I've got a home visit with the. Uh, it's a follow-on one-to-one home visit where we're going out for a walk with some dogs. Um, and then we're through to Sheffield. So we've got classes tonight. We've got the um, the dog karaoke for charity for the um, Global Make Some Noise charity. Uh, we've got the, Sem the Support Dogs UK coming up as well to help out with that and be there for people to see. It's at our dog-friendly coffee shop. Uh, so that's cool. I do like uh, coming out of this time of the morning, but especially when it's nice, I do cringe a lot because I've just seen a dozen people just, f and I've only left the house about five minutes ago, and I've seen about a dozen people being dragged along by their dogs, just either they're on the phone or they're just paying no attention to the dog at all, no interaction with the dog, the dog's just dragging them from one tree to the next. I have just saw one and uh, we're a Westie that was barking at another dog and almost pulled the old owner into the road, which, uh, which is not nice to see. But apart from that, it just uh, reminds me why we do what we do. So, Here again at the school, just setting up ready for, uh, and for my first client. Some my client's dogs seem to love peeing all over my train arena. So, let's get in there. A bucket of water and safe for. Ready. Some water bowls out to help the dogs regulate their emotions because it can be quite stressful. Um, And then crack on with the training. See, I'm um, setting up some Semper UK hides for one of my one-to-ones. Um, Aria, this Malamar that I mentioned earlier. Because um, the owner's broken her legs, she's not done any Semper for nearly a year. So we're just going to start off with some nice easy stuff and probably level one through to level uh, Three, I would have thought. Um, I'm not going to put any distraction scents in. So today, I'm going to start off with uh, clove. So, like I said, she's not done this for some time now, um, and uh, we'll see how she manages it. So, basically, we have the bags and boxes. Uh, it's got a full setup and the table and chairs. She's not done this for ages, so it's just a bit of a flyer. So all I'm gonna do is place this into the latch on this rucksack. Now for Semper UK, it has to be what we call a surface hide. So 
it has to be accessible to the surface but obviously preferably not accessible to the dog itself so that's clove in that one so we're going to use clove again for the table and chairs so just grab my keys because I'm going to need to push this into place so the table and chairs on this occasion it's going to be I'll just place you here so you can see what I'm doing so I'm just going to use this little bit in here So again, it's a surface hide, but dog can't retrieve it. There we go. So, obviously, having to consider cross contamination, so need to remove my gloves and bin those. Just bear with me, I need a couple of extra items ready for the extra level. Okay, so this time I'm gonna put gun oil out. Yes, truffle oil, gun oil. So I store mine, uh, all my scents, in these Kilmer jars. They seem to be really good for it what I need. Um, so this one is going to be in the Velcro part. I don't know if you can see this little bag, Velcro part there. Just placing that into the handle so it's up to the surface and that will be put out later on and then I'll hide another truffle oil out on the table sorry gun oil using gun oil so we're only doing up to level three today so level one Yeah, good girl. Okay, so just bring her back out, reset her. No, good girl. So when she finds it again, don't tell her no, because she's not wrong. Yes. But tell her, good girl, let's find the next one. Okay? Good girl. Off we go. Are you fine? So try and position your, good girl. Good girl. Position yourself so you encourage her away from it. This is where the handling bit comes in. Piece of cake, well done. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, so it stays Sorry. out this time. So. Good girl. Fine. Good girl. Fine. Try not to close Good it. Girl. Try not to close Fine. it down too much. Give it a bit of freedom to work. So she knows it's there somewhere, but she's not sure. There we are. Look, look at that. Yeah, good, good. Give it a bit of freedom at first. Yeah, clever girl. Come on, come on, good girl. Okay, and again, set her back up. So that one's still in play, mine, so I'm not moving it. Just wait. 
I just wanted her to re-engage, that's all. I know she's giving the down, and I'll click the down again next time. Okay, one more. One more. Is there another item that we're not to send? It's, uh, it's the one that's on the table that was on earlier, but, right. but she's going to struggle to get to it. That's it. Don't show her where it is. Let her figure it out. Good girl. Come on. Fine. She can't lay down at it, look. That's what Are the problem is. Fine. She's doing well. Fine. Okay, so do me a favour. Move that's it. She's got it. Good yeah, girl. good. 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 Fine. 
session this morning uh, I had, uh, had three one-to-ones in first one was the Mali Aria I've seen her for over a year uh, did some Semper UK training with her uh, had some great results she did amazing uh, as though she never had any time off so uh, just got to work on her indications a little bit but um, I've got a couple of videos so I'll post them later um, then uh, had a cracking little terrier uh, which uh, is so funny uh, he uh, has major issues with other dogs managed to get a before and after video of that so I'll put uh, put that on again major issue with lack of engagement that's the only reason the dog was kicking off introduce a bit of engagement still a lot of work to do can't do a lot in an hour um, but now the owner's at least got uh, the idea that he's not a lost cause so she was really happy with that and uh, then I've just finished off with two uh, two spaniels which is quite funny really I, unfortunately I forgot to video that when I got a bit carried away but basically they've come with this spaniel that um, has issues with other dogs and then they've brought this Springer with them as well who uh, they said they've had no issues with but for the entire session it was the Springer that was causing the problems no engagement no interest in interacting with the owners no self-control nothing um, so it was quite enlightening for them uh, unfortunately that, uh, that the dog they brought for work wasn't actually the dog they had a problem with but Again, we introduced introduced a load of um, engagement games and uh, introduced some obedience and focus on the owners um, and uh, we had some cracking results so uh, they, uh, they've they got loads to work on as well. And uh, now I'm just popping the dogs home, they've done their job, I'm going to pop them home, grab something to eat. Then I've got a one-to-one -one at somebody's house, a follow-on one-to-one, and then through to Sheffield for my classes tonight and the uh, dog karaoke for charity. So it's uh, yes, good day today. I've had a, I've enjoyed it. So hopefully it'll carry on.
Well done. Good. She had enough. She had enough. <laughs> Probably because those pieces of the side wasn't by the wheel of general shepherds. Awesome. Well done. Good. Just be careful not to shove your face in when you say yes, so it's not too intimidating. Okay? And because she, she, he, she, because she's a bit taller, as she goes up, stand up so you get a better picture. Yeah. That's nice, that. Well done. Good. <laughs> Thank you.